welcome back for video two, guys. This is gonna be our last video of Partridge in a Pear Tree. I was thinking it might be three or four videos, but I think we might be able to condense those in a little bit. So today we are actually going to be going ahead and doing our partridge. This is what he's gonna look like. Gold sequins, brown sequins, and then this little crest right here is going to be red satin stitch. <clears throat> so um, the first step is going to be for number 15. It's embroider and sequin the front of the bird body, which we did already. I'm just going to cut his number off right here. And I'm going to cut the number off this back one as well. And set that aside. And it's embroider stuff and applique the front of the beak, 16 to the back of the beak, which is 17. Here's 17. So 17 has some embroidery on it. Or I'm sorry, 16 has some embroidery on it. And this is going to be 17. So since I do have to stuff this, I'm just going to like sew it in the shape of a cone because that's going to be the easiest way to stuff it, especially since this one is actually going to have a piece going over it. It'll be easier to kind of stuff it that way. Oops. And that way we're also going to connect it by that end too. Um, and since that end part is bigger, it'll be easier to stuff that way. We're gonna embroider and applique the eye patch 18, which is this guy right here. It's his eye. And we're gonna put that on top of this right here. So you're gonna wanna measure up those lines. And then there's also this really like right here there's kind of an indent spot and that's going to kind of guide you. That point is going to go at the end of that beak right there. So that will help you kind of guide exactly where it's supposed to go on what side. I am going to try to push him down a little like the face part down as much as I can because that red is so pretty, but you don't see a lot of it when you have a lot of it on there. So I'm going to see what I can't do to maybe finagle a little bit more of that red out. Look, his face. It's so crazy how just one or two pieces of felt can totally change the look. It went from a big tan blob to a partridge in about 10 minutes. Look at that. Applique the eye patch to the front of the body, which is the part that we just did. And then we are going to sequin and applique the top edge of the head to the front of the body, which is going to be number 19, which is gonna be this little piece right here. Now there's a notch right here, and there's also a notch on here, and we're just gonna match up those notches. And I'm just going to pin it just so I can keep those notches in place. So normally with these small pieces, I will use a beading needle. And that's only because it doesn't do a lot of damage on these small corners. 
because the hole that the needle makes is actually smaller. I do find sometimes that using an embroidery needle um, will actually make the felt split. Now we have the little top of his head on. So it says applique the bird details 20 to 23 in the front of the body. So 20 and 23 are going to be kind of these funky little half moon circle things. See these? And they're gonna go right down this line, 20, 21, 22, 23. So let's get those put on here. All right, so we're sewing on these little things right here. So I have these pieces sewn on. I'm not gonna sew this part down just because I kind of like how it, it lays like feathers. So, we're actually gonna be moving pretty quickly through these ones, um, mostly because they're just pretty much adding pieces on. So now that we have the feathers, sequin stuff and applique the front of the head feathers to the back. Sequin the bird of the body to the front. Applique the front of the bird body to the front of the head feather. So these are the head feathers. It's gonna be that little like crest on the top. So I do need to see the picture and where this goes. Um, all right, so it looks like it, you just kind of stick it right in the middle and there is gonna be a guideline.
it looks like it is kind of the two sequins past that crest. So here's the this part right here. So one and then these two sequins is where it's going to be sewn down to. And then since you do have a little bit of an overhang here, um, I do kind of like to just secure the bottom part so it doesn't flap up. And plus it just gives it a little extra stability. And really sticks it on there. All right. We have his feather, his head feather on. Um, and then it says stuff and applique the front of the bird body to the back. This is our backing. So. We're just going to get that sewn there. We're just going to go all the way around. I'll probably start about here, go all the way around. That way I can stuff um, and make sure I get some in his head. Okay, so now it says to embroider stuff and applique the front of the feathers 30, which is this one, to the back, which is this one. So this piece is essentially just going to go here, and we're going to stuff it. So appliquing it and stuffing it. Right, so now we have our feathers and they're gonna go on here and then we'll attach 
this piece to the partridge. And we're basically just gonna kind of layer them on. I'm gonna pleat the front of the feathers 31 through 34 to the back and then add the embroidery. So I've already done the embroidery, but they want you to add these, like stuff it, add it and stuff it, add it and stuff it, add it and stuff it. So it is going to be pretty big. Um, so we're just going to really lightly stuff um, as we add these guys on. I don't want to make it too huge. Um, because it's already pretty, pretty thick. So I'm going to line up where my feathers go just so I know that that black seam is going to be covered. Which there is a little bit of a gap, I guess. Um, can you see that right here from where it's cut out? But, you know, it'll, it'll be gone once we add the other ones. I'm going to start my stitches in front of this black curve because this is where the other one is going to go or the next one is going to go. I'm gonna leave the bottom of this wing detached just so it can give it a little bit more you know dimension all set we're gonna put our partridge in our pear tree And we are just going to, with a couple small stitches, get him sewn down on there.
Our partridge is in the pear tree, everybody. Look it. Oh, that's so exciting. I have been waiting so long to put this partridge in this pear tree. He looks great. So now that we have the partridge in the pear tree, we're actually going to be putting on our embroidery down here, the banner. Um, it's a lot of embroidery, but the coolest thing about it is um, they've printed the lines on there really well. And with the amount of strands that you're using, it covers it up really, really well. So when the banner goes on, um, it's going to look really, really nice. I was kind of worried about how thick the, the black wording and like template was, but it covered up great and the stitches went in really easy and it looks really nice. So, um, so we've done the green running stitch. Um, I personally, whenever it's wording or anything like that, I like doing it when it's smaller pieces. They say to do the running stitch first, and then you're actually going to add this later, the words and the letters. But for me, it's a lot easier to add those on, especially with an outline stitch when it's still in small pieces like this, instead of like trying to outline stitch while I'm holding on to the whole entire piece. So I did all my embroidery first. I really don't think there's going to be too much of a difference in it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get the banner added on. So the first piece that we're going to put on are the ends, which is going to be 35 and 36. This one has some pretty thick black lines. So I have had to do a lot of trimming to get all the black off of my pieces. So just an FYI, keep, keep a lookout for that. You are gonna have a little bit of them hanging off here and that's just going to give it a little bit more flare. I am gonna try and make sure that I get these lined up as best I can so it doesn't throw it off. So now that we got our ends on here, we are going to be doing the insides of the scroll. That's what they call it, which is 37 and 38. So 37 is going to go over here. Like this. And it's going to go here.
last piece. So we have on our last piece. So our stocking is nearly almost done. We just have one more step and that's where we're gonna put the outline stitch around here. And that's just gonna give these little spots more definition um, in order, you know, for you to kind of be able to tell where the scroll is going. It's, act it's actually just gonna be going around this part right here. It's gonna be an outline stitch just around these little corners and it's going to be with this and it's going to be one strand. So here's a closer look of our finished partridge in a pear tree. Hey guys, sorry the tutorial had actually ended so quickly. Um, I had shot some video showing you how to do the outline stitch around the banner and it just didn't make it for some reason. So you can see above the A and below the word tree how I actually outlined that loop part. And what that did was it gave it some dimension so it actually looks like that ribbon is kind of going around the pot and into those pine limbs. Um, so I really appreciate you hanging in there with this tutorial. I know it was a long time coming. I promise they're only going to get better. We've done some changing and we've got some new software we're working with, some new setups that we're working with, and it's going to be great. So our next tutorial is going to be Bucilla's Alice in Wonderland. So if you would like to sew along, I would be more than happy to have you sew along with me and just keep checking back at the channel. Please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help us out and we will see you soon. If you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.